So Lamaisa we started to learn Hilchis Yoim Hakipurim. We spoke last night about the the vidui, not, not the vidui, but the akoshes mechila. <coughs> How are you supposed to ask, and when are you supposed to ask? Another one of the nyan that we do on Erev Yom Kippur is we go to the mikvah. There are two reasons. We are on page Ayin, uh, Ayin Aleph. Ayin Aleph in the soft booklets. Right. Now you can lit by put in the minigis to be toivol and Erev Yom Kippur. There is a machloikis why we go to Tfilah on Erev Yom Kippur. Some say the reason is because of Keri. This means a, sem- a seminal mission. And in order we should become totally pure and tired on Yom Kippur. And by the way, in the times of um, the Beis HaMikdash, if one was a Baal Kedi, one would not be allowed to enter into the Beis HaMikdash, Min HaToyra, until one went to the Mikvah. As well, Chazal made a Gzeda that someone who's a Baal Kedi should not learn or Davin until he goes to the Mikvah when he's a Baal Kedi. He has to put a certain tumma on the person. They should not learn Davin. Lomaisa, that takana was battle. That takana was not mispashed a roi vatsibur. Any roi vatsibur you can lamid bar to always run to the mikveh. Every time, if they, they, they had tashu shamita and everything, they cannot have to go to the mikveh before davening and learning. So Lomaisa, that takana api halacha was battle. And however, it does bring down in Svarim that there, even though it's bottle, the chiyuv, it doesn't mean there's no ingin in it anymore. It doesn't mean that it does not provide a level of tara going to the mikvah. It just means you have no obligation. So therefore, uh, certain times we do find in Shulchan Arich where, where someone should uh, endeavor to go to the mikvah for a balkeri. It's called Tfilas Ezra because Ezra was the one, the sacking to go to the mikvah for balkeri. It's called Tfilas Ezra. Page Ayin Aleph in the sold booklets. So, Tfilas um, Ezra, it, it brought many svarim as ingin, and therefore we find sometimes in Allah it says, let's say on, on Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, like the Baal Tfila should go, and there are different times we find that there's an ingin at the Baal Chassidim, the Baal Shem Tiv was very much makbid on the concept of Tfilas Ezra, and therefore Chassidim in general all over are makbid to go to the mikvah, one of the things that's for Tfilas Ezra. Um, during the year, if they need to. That Tfilas Ezra is for a Balkeri. However, why do we find that many go to the mikveh even more often, daily, even though not a Balkeri? This is already an Indian of Tara, not, not the Kesher to a Tumah. Balkeri is a certain type of Tumah, which we have no Chiyuv to matter ourselves for today. It's a Midas Chassidus to go matter yourself for, the, for Keri, to be a Tfilas Ezra. However, um, there are those that are mahadid even more because according to Kabbalah, there's an Indian of going to the mikveh without, even if you have no tumma, no balkari, pasha to moisif and tara on yourself. More tahisaf as tara, therefore Shabbos and Erev Shabbos and Yamtif is an Indian of going to the mikveh. And there are some that even go every day to the mikveh. Nowadays it's so easy, they have a mikveh. Every day they retire themselves before davening. Like the Alter Rebbe writes in the Kuti Torah, actually this week's Parashat Parashat Kisave. Right? The Rebbe did not go every day, he's right. And Chassidim Amol did not always go every day. Uh, Chabad Chassidim. Some did, but a lot most did not go every day. Yoim Kriya was considered more of a day to go, or Yoim Kriya. Mondays and Thursdays. Shabbos, Ere Shabbos, Yom Tif. But did you say the rabbi didn't go uh, every day? No, the rabbi did not go every day to the mikveh. Um, at least in the later years, maybe in the early years, he, early I mean, years, I, I think he did go. I know, right I think after. Early years, he was more, like, the later years, he did not. He went twice a week. He went three times. He did not. He went to the before. He went to the oil. He used to always go to the mikveh. He used to use actually the 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 Kalistira mikvah across the street. I'm sure some of you remember this mikvah. Um, later on, you know, he was a, a, a he already got had to use privately the mikvah. He would use the mikvah's nashim privately during the day. Anyways, Lamaisa, um, Erev Yom Kippur, 
And if Rosh Kippur is an Ingen, according to this opinion, that we go to the Mikvah Mitzat Filas Ezra, Mitzat Keri. Rosh Hashanah, Ayin Kippur, everyone should be Matar themselves from Keri on, on Erev Yom Kippur. Now, according to this, there's no Ingen, uh, you only go one time, because one time is enough to toivel one time. And if you toivel, let's say, uh, the day before, an Ingen, you wouldn't have to. But Lamaisa, we do toivel again, because we saw maybe a suffix carry in this, we toivel again at Erev Shashan. Now, when it comes to about Keri, we're more make with the tefillah. Tefillah is only based on an Indian which was a Takon of Ezra. So, Chachila, Chachamim, we're make with the tefillah. You did not need to have rainwater. We know by Mikveh needs to have rainwater. That was not Mayim Shum Shov and Ekli. Was not drawn in any keli. Mikvahs are built. We one time spoke here a number of years ago. Mikvahs, we take rainwater for the mikvah, mm-hmm. not from the tap. There are special the ways how the roof, the roof is clean of any, we yeah, clean the, the roof of any kalim. We section off a part of the roof where there's no kalim there, there's no air conditioners and equipment and anything there. A clean, nice, flat roof. And we have a hole and the water comes down into special pipes where there's no vessel or keli that can hold water. And the water goes straight into the oh. the buyer, which connects through the buyer, which you are toiling either from the side, buyer bitzad buyer, or on the bottom, buyer agabi buyer, which is the chabad way of doing it. And you kasher, you touch the, the water, the rainwater sits in that buyer of mem saw, 40 saw of rainwater, and it connects by a hole. You'll see in the mikvah there's a hole yeah. to the tap water where you're toiling in, the clean tap water. By touching it, it's called hashaka, the water kisses. That makes it kosher. Lamaisa, we're not makbid by tefillas Ezra for Balkedi. We're not makbid on having rainwater. And therefore, the only thing we're makbid is it should be in the ground. It should be toiling in the ground and not in a pool in the ground. But the, you could have taken it with tap water or with a, with a pail and poured it in. No problem. As long as you have mem saw, 40 saw, of tap water in the ground, not in a keili, because a separate psalm by McVois of not toiling in a, in a keili, you're not supposed to toivel, even to have rainwater in the keili sitting on the ground, the water pours in, you're not supposed to toivel in there. So when it comes to Tfilas Ezra, if, if you have it, it's in the, 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 the tap water is poured into the ground, or you, let's say swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool is in the ground, and it's full of tap water. Kosher for Tfilas Ezra. You might want to turn off the... Why don't you use it? It's a good question. Why don't you use it? No, it's Mayim Shuvim. Tap water. Tap water. Comes to different cases. No, pipes, any pipe or water can stop in it and can be held. It's considered a case. Any part of the um, pipe that can hold it. Let's say this, let's say the water okay, sits in a vat. Okay, but the shut down. Well, there's an all the way along. You have to know how the process, how the water is coming from the rivers and, and, and the reservoir. What's the method? And, and the Nisan Talushkin was one of the big rabbanim involved with the voice. Yeah. And he was, he wrote a safer about it. He discussed if you had no choice whether you would be able to use the water from the tap water, maybe. How is the method, how is the water transported from the reservoir all the way down to us? There's the Maisa, a swimming pool can be used for Tfilas Kari, but why do people not make men's mikvahs that way? Because it doesn't help for Tara. The Ingna of the Rizal, of Kapi Kabbalah, going to the mikvah to make yourself Tahir, to have an extra Tara, even if you don't have any, you're not a Balkari. It doesn't work. It seems that it only helps, most opinions hold, that only when the mikvah is a kosher mikvah, a real kosher mikvah, then it will help matter you. Only for a bow carries a special din that we're lenient and we allow you to go into a swimming pool. But it doesn't help for, let's say, going to Arab Shabbos, Shabbos to the mikvah, Yom Tif. You want to have this kedusha and tara, it won't help. So that's why they build mikvahs which are properly built. So, anyway, so, this tefillah, according to this opinion, since it's based on keri, is kshayra feel by bayim sashuvim. You cannot have it in the keli. They are all kosher and mikvahs. Oh, 
And Crown Heights, they opened. I don't know the Flappers, if they reopened. They did not reopen? Wilson did reopen? You wanted to say something before. We're in, 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 in Hej Ayin Aleph, Simen Reish, Taf Reish Vav, Sif Yid Aleph. Taf Reish Vav, Sif Yid Aleph. Now, another thing is, someone who cannot go into a, for some reason, he cannot go in to a, the bird. He's, he's not well, let's say, something called Tisha Kabin. Tisha Kabin has a certain amount of water, less than Aboim saw. I'm not uh, bucking an exact shift to look up in the, the Svarim. A Tisha Kabin of water can be poured on the person, and that makes him tired. That's if you're Mitztair. A Baal carrying its Mitztair or has no mikvah available, what does this mean practically today? You can go into the shower. Practically today, go in, if, you, if you have no mikveh available, L'chatchila, when it's supposed to use Abayim saw the karka, the Valkari, if you're mitzdair, you take a shower, and you stand underneath the shower for around two minutes, Six minutes? <laughs> very, very big share. Grade, grade, I think that they most of the bottom say it's two to three minutes. And I have a chaver who told me that he measured, he, 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 he told me on, uh, that on Google there's a way how you could, they, they tell you how much water comes per second out from, the, uh, from most of the showers. And he, the cheshben came out to much less than the shear that, that the oil was saying, I don't know, maybe like a minute and a half or something. That's a big deal. Yeah, you don't put on That's the soap. You don't put on the soap then. You for, just stand under the water and you let the water now. The mice, this is what someone should do if he is, um, doesn't have the ability to go to the mikveh on Ere Rosh Hashanah or someone who's mak for the whole year. Silo says and does not have a mikveh. He's, he doesn't have a swimming pool. He goes, the swimming pool is better than Tisha Kabin. You should better, you should turn the filter off. Even if it's on, it's, you know, not necessarily real schila. Like, you know, it's not, you don't see like a rush of water. Not for women's mikra, but for this, you can be mikra. Now, However, some say this has nothing to do, the tefillah of Arab Yom Kippur has nothing to do with keri. It has to do with tshuva. Since it's Arab Yom Kippur, we're doing tshuva. Like a ger. A ger goes to the mikveh to become a ger. We also want to become a ger. We want to leave all our past ways a new person. We want to emerge a new person. You go to the mikveh, we have a gerus. The Rambam writes in the tshuva that a person should Marchik himself from his Avedis and from his previous self. So he, the Baal Tshuva, should, should change his name and he should, he should be, the Ani Ish Acher, when I under a mensch, and going just like a girl goes to the mikveh, you go to the mikveh with Sad Tshuva. Like based on this, you should go three times to the mikveh because uh, I guess a girl goes three times. And even um, young boys, that never had any carry or anything, uh, which are bar mitzvah, and also uh, uh, women, girls, that don't have any carry. They're not, they never, they're, they're basulis, so they're never mashamish, they don't eat of, of carry. Also, they should go to the mikveh based on this water. Huh? They have need, and therefore what? They have to go to the <laughs> mikvah. Lamaisa in Chabad, some women do go to the mikvah. It's not the majority. Some women do go. I don't think so. I don't think really the Russians went. I don't think the Russians went, but in Kran Heights, the women's mikveh is open at Erev Yom Kippur. There's a time slot. And not girls, not unmarried women. They're not ma- machmer. But married women, there are those that go. The, there is, they pack in, they pack in over there. And it's a... And, and but married, right? 
Okay, so that's the machlikis, and whichever reason it, it, it the Maisa, the only nafkim in a lapoil, um, Maisa that we visit, you, you table three times. And then he, that's for Gersh and his guy. When should you toy on Arabian Kipper? I want to bring out that this, if you learn it's Mitzad Gerus, Shuva, it doesn't, the Pashtas, it does not help. You have to go to a proper mikvah, not to 40 saw in the ground. Mayim saw Shuvin, which is possible to work for mikvah. When we spoke about Tfilas Keri, then, then we said, Rameko, Tfilas Ushihi Misham Keri. Then you can go, and if you're Mitzdair, you can put Tisha Kab in a shower. However, if you're learning it's mitad, shuva, sad gersh and his guy, you're just like a ger, it's a regular mikveh. You need to go into a regular mikveh, it's not going to help you. Therefore, a person, out of him, kipper, everyone tries to go into a real mikveh. And therefore, he, and he, if you're in a place where you don't have, go to the ocean, go to the, go to the water. People are, out of him, kipper, it's not that, it's still, still, warm, it's still warm, it's not that bad. And, we say three times, me. Three times when I mean, he told him to dunk himself three times, or three times to the day, or a week. But what do you, three times? Three times up and down. I mean, dunk himself. Yeah, dunk yeah. himself three times. Shuvah. It doesn't say, it seems like there were those that said vidui in the mikvah. I don't know. Said certain types of vidui in the mikvah. But, but I don't know. It doesn't say vidui in the mikvah. In a Hanami, but it seems but he the the what? Talk, what? In the you can say something, but you're not really supposed to say anything like that in the mix. Do you know of any, do you know of anything about this that certain hagim that to say vidui? No, no. Just in the in, in your mind, you should have a yud k, k yud k vav, yud k vav k, but in your mind only. But you're not supposed to. Not ah. that I. know. Okay. Okay. Lamaisa, we should toivel before mincha in order to be able to say vidui. You start saying vidui by mincha, which you'll learn about soon why. But we say vidui by mincha in order to say vidui ready vitara. You already went to the mikvah, you go before. However, others have the minig know they table after Suda Mafsekis, after the last Suda, on the way to Shul for Kol Nidre, then they go because it's Mamis Samoch to Yom Kippur. They have the Tara right before Yom Kippur. In Chabad, they have a minig to go, oh, to go before and to go Kol Nidre. And all, every day in the morning end up going three times. Three times, yeah. There are people the, main three one, times. the main one is the one before Mincha. The main tefillah is the tefillah before mincha. That's the main, main tefillah. Sometimes people can't make it. After the sunnah of sekes, they're, they're trying to eat, and it's getting late. They have to put on the shoes, and the kids with Allah zachin, and run to kol nidre. It's, it's difficult. The main tefillah, the tefillah, the mincha, that's when everyone goes to the mikvah. Sif Yudalad. Me... Okay, this is not Negei, it's Negei of Avail. So I want to go into talking about, about Vidui, the concept of Vidui. It's of Zion. Yom Kippur is a Yoim Slich and Kapar, like the Torah says, Kiba Yoim Hazei Yechapar Aleichem. Therefore, a person needs to do Vidui. We, the, all Karbanis, when you bring a carbon to bring Kapara, you need to say Vidui, confess your Avedis on the carbon. Now, before we get into the Shulchan Aruch, the Machlech is in Chachamim and Rebbe about the Kapara of Yoim HaKippur. Rebbe says that Yoim Itzumi Shol Yoim Mechaper. The very essence of Yom Kippur is Mechaper without Shuvah. When you say, this day provides Kapara for you. It says, Akoyach, you did Shuvah, you didn't do Shuvah, it has a Kapara. Chacham held no, only with, with tshuva. You have to do tshuva and Yom Kippur. If you do tshuva, if you do tshuva, you have to do tshuva and vidui. With Yom Kippur is mechaper. The Rambam is a very interesting lashon. The Rambam says that itzumei shayoyim is mechaper with Yom Kippur with tshuva. 
he borrows the lashon of Rebbe, and he passes like Chacham, like everyone passes like I mean, not going to pass like Rebbe when Yochid were Rabbim, Malachik Rabbim. So you need to have Shuvah. But he says it's not the Shuvah that causes it. It's the Shal Yoy Mechaper, says the Rabbim. It's the essence of the day, which is Mechaper, but you need to have the Shuvah in order to reach there, in order to evoke the essence of the day itself. The power of the Kapara is from the essence of Yom Kippur itself, just like Rebbe held. However, in order to tap into it, you have to do tshuva. When you do tshuva, so, you arouse and, 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 and you bring out the koyach of the potential of the day. Huh? It's a difference if you, you say it's both. Yom Kippur with tshuva. In the Chanami, you need both. But the question is, what's That's the kapara? The year he's saying is that it's... it's, 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 it's so there's it's, some, so some of both. It's the Shuvah itself doesn't have the koyach to give you kapara. It's itzumi shayoyim, which is mechaper. Just how can I reach the itzumi shayoyim? How can I reach into the essence of the day? First, I have to be clean. When I'm rain and I'm clean and I'm tired, I'm tshuva, then I could tap into the day and the essence of the day is mechaper and all our Vedas. Or do we say no? It's your tshuva is mechaper. And together with Yom Kippur, they both have a part in the being mechaper. The way that Ramam words it, it's Tzumah Shiyom is Mechaper. It's the day of Yom Kippur. The etz day of Yom Kippur is the Kapara, but it only will work if you have Shuvah. It's a Lambdus. It's a Lambdus. It's not the the Gale Maisa. Right. In the Gale Maisa, you have to do Shuvah. Now, when is the Mitzvah Vidui Min Hadin? We're going to see it's a Machloikis. Some say it's when it's dark. That night, the night of Yom Kippur, when it's already Yom Kippur already, Yom Kippur, be the on Yom Kippur at night, that's when you do it. And in a Maidiv, by Maidiv, you're going to say, you're going to have a Maidiv, you're going to say Vidu in the middle of Shmana, at the ending of Shmana, right? That's the proper time. However, we're going to see later, there's another opinion which tells that no. Vidu is supposed to be done before you enter Yom Kippur. Right before you enter Yom Kippur, you do Vidu. You will be hey, minute, before we come to why we do Mincha. Me'ikr hadin. Machloikis, how vidu should be done. Mincha is later on takon. Originally, machloikis, vid, some say vidu should be done. Mishetach shach. When it's dark, ready, your boy be yoyim on Yom Kippur. By Maidav, let's say, you say vidu, and that's the ikr vidu. And that's mechaper you. Some of the shuvah then is the kapara. I'll say no. You're supposed to do it right before Yom Kippur starts. You see him, Kippur is getting dark. It's, it's been a, becoming Ben Hashemoshes right before Shkia. Get up and do Vidu. Now, you need to enter the day with Shuvah. The second opinion holds you need to enter the day with Shuvah. Not that you have, and you shouldn't leave any time at your Vidu and Yom Kippur. There shouldn't be any space. You enter Yom Kippur with your Vidu. No time to do Avedis in between. That's how you get your Kappa. The first opinion says, no, it's Vidu on the night of Yom Kippur, which is Mechaper. Why do we do it by Mincha? Because we know we have two Sudas on Erev Yom Kippur. We have a Suda before Mincha and a Suda after Mincha. Before Mincha, it could be earlier on in the day. And after Mincha, a Suda Mavsekis. Now, during the Suda Mavsekis, people could be eating a lot, and, and especially those days, they would drink wine commonly during the meals. It was a shash that a person would drink wine and it would be a bissel shikr. So therefore, he won't be able to have his that evening by Maidiv, he not necessarily will be in the kalim to, 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 to do a proper vidui. So he said, you know, you're going to miss out on the on, 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 on the, on the shuvah in Kippur. Therefore, do it by milch. Before you eat soda hafsekes, you dab, dab a milcha, milcha do vidui. There's a different reason. No, it might have another reason in the gear, the choking, right? <laughs> this is a Braisa. This is a Braisa mentioned in the Gemara in Yuma, and Daph Pezayin and Bez. That's the source. Seems as a Machleik is there. Al Chet Shechatol Fanecha. Just a mere confession, or you have to have Chavot there and the rest of the stuff that That's good point. Says vidu, means vidu mamish, or just is referring to the to yeah, yeah, the, to, 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 well, you have, the, the vidui is aziva sachet 
with your mouth. That I, I'm, 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 I'm asking for kapora, and I'm not going to go back to any of these in Yomim. I'm, you know. But you have to have chapata also. But that's the work is the good work. Right? Not, not, uh, the whole thing is not authentic. Okay, but Kherat is definitely part of it, but Kherat is not the Iker. When he says Vidu means Vidu Mamish, but not the other. Vidu, Vidu, yeah. Shlemus, you have to have everything. The Maisa, even though you did Vidu by Mincha, it's enough. You have to do it again, I might have. Why? Because that's the real time you're supposed to be doing Vidu. So you're going to say, we're only yeah. Machmer to do it earlier in case of being in a Shikras. No, oh, you're talking about now. He's right. Yeah. That was the question. And even though you did, my might have you did video, because maybe you didn't have data. Maybe you didn't have data after so might have. Maybe you said the chazal wasn't so good. I don't know what you did. So you got into yourself into trouble. We're human beings, right? And then we have to do it again by Musaf. And my min again because. Because Yem Kippurim has a Koyach to Mechaper till nightfall. So you can keep on going and Chaparain until the ending. Well, I can't say you will do a better thing. His, his two would, be, would do a better job later. He has more opportunity to get better. To be more, for more uh, a perfectionist. Right here. You do it once, maybe you want to do a good job. You do another time, get better and better and better. Would that be a logical reason? Now, remember, we brought these two opinions. One is the proper time to do real time to do tshuva. Is it, first opinion was when it's actually night, and night you do it, which would be mairiv, essentially. Or is it right koidim knisis hayoyim should do vidui, right before shkia. The halacha is the ikers by night, by mairiv is the ikers man. We're machmer, we do it also by mincha. However, it's right for every person, and the oil should listen in, that's right for every person, to be machmer, like the second svara, that the Iker time of Vidri is koidim knis When someone sees bein hashmosh is coming, it's not something that we have here that the tzibur does as a cloud, because the Iker aloche is maidiv. Since there's another opinion, therefore when a person sees right before shkia, he sees the vet of bein hashmosh, he's in the shul, he should stand there under his talus and his kittel, and he should clap Vidri by himself, just open up the Vidri, Hashem, no bagadno, Say it to yourself. This is how many people are noyig. This is what you do for yourself. Write koidim shkia. Chaparain to say a vidui. Go to this this inyan, this shita. Now, why by mincha we don't do vidui by chazaras hashatz? Reason being because. The shri, you already did it in your private fila. The Shiach Tzibur only does it like Tzim Yishaini Baki. Rebaal, it's only a chash that maybe some will miss out by the Sudam of Sekir, so it becomes Shikir. Chazal did not put into Tzibur Chazal Sashatz. The Chla, we have different areas in fila where we do it. When a, when a, as a Yochid, we do it at the ending of Shemun Asrei, after Eli, uh, before the Kain Nitzor. However, the Shviach Tzibur does it in the middle of davening. Middle of Shemineser. What happens if someone just says, he doesn't say what Avedis it was. He just says that Chatasi, yeah, he's Yoitzim Vidui. Well, the Chatchila, he should be Mecharet, Fahad the Chet, he should say, Echa Betan Azai, Echa Getan Azai, because that's how you bring more Busha, and you're attacking Mecharet, the Lashem Mecharet that you're looking for. Yeah, we say everything. Well, the, the whole Muslim. <laughs> Explains why. Because each one. And he says, ah, and then he walks out the door. That's not going to. He needs to go and talk it out. And, 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 yeah. But you should do it quietly, Vidui, because you're not supposed to say you're chatoyim barabim. 
Now, our video that we say is a nusach. So everyone's saying the same thing. So you don't have to be quiet about it. Everyone's saying the same thing. If you're adding in, it's on the Seder of the Alf base. If you're adding in your own thing that you know a certain Aveli you want to ask about, a Chet Shechatan or something else, a Chet Shechatasi, right? You don't say it out loud. You know, so, 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 unless everyone knows that you did a certain Aveli and you want people to hear that you're asking Mechila, you're asking for Tuba. Now, on the ending of the of the of Al Chet, we we mention all the Chatoi or Chayev Oila, Chatos Oila Beyoyed. Why are we saying in this order? Because that is the order of the Parsha in Parsha's Yikra. First, the Parsha Yikra talks about Oila, then a Chatas, then a carbon Oila Vayoyra, which is a Chatas, which has different levels of depending how much money you have. The birds, or for, you know, less, you don't have money for birds, you bring just a uh, soil, flower, or if you have more money, you bring from a, a actual animal, behemoth. Then we talk about Marcus Mardus, which is Malchus for the Rabbanan, Malchus Arboim. Because it's going an order of lighter to more stringent. You first ask Hashem to forgive you for the lighter things, then you go and ask for more and more. You don't first, by the way, ask for everything. First, you start slowly, work your way up. Now, we say in Davin, we say, Kavara for Chatoyim, Mechila for Hoynes, and Slicha for Pachoyim. Why do we say these three different Lashoyness? What are all these things? Are we just repeating ourselves? A chait is less than... A chait is less than oven. And an oven is lighter than pesha. Yes. I'll tell you what it is. One second. I, I remember later on he talks about it. Chatoyim are shkogis. Chatoyim are things you did by accident. Avoinus refer to zvainus, things you did on purpose. You knew it was also to do it, but you enjoy doing it, so you did it. Shoyim are rebellious zvainus. You did it. Dafke, lachis, did it dafke. Not for hano, not for hano also with the oven for taiva. Lachis takadish bar. That's the in of shoyim. So because they are chatoyim, avoinus shoyim are each one uh, more worse than the next, the previous. So we have different lashoynes. Kapara, kapara for chatoyim. Mechila is for avoynes and slicha for pshoyim, because kapara is it totally washed out. It's upgivish. Kapara comes in the kipuri yade. The Gemara says the chaper is to wash off your hands, totally, totally washed out. Since chatoyim are only shkogis, you can get them totally wiped away easier to wipe them off. should not be any pagam. By avoinus, it's already shen amazed. We use a lashem mechila because it's not a stark. You're not able to wipe it away in Gansen as much. And slicha is already, you did it, lahachis, pshayim, you say you only get a slicha. It's much less than, the, than, than all the other two of kapara and mechila. And it's therefore... Yeah, it's the word. So therefore, why, therefore, it more, it's a better lush and it needs more work. And therefore, you stamas, you can't get it. All you're going to get is a mechila, but you're not going to get that it's totally washed away. I don't know. It's a good question. You have to do a bigger chuva, higher level chuva. Vidi should be said standing. You should not be leaning on anything like leaning on the bima of the stender that you would fall down from it. Unless you're Pashitvach, a person. Uh, on the fast, he's very shvach. If it's a choyla, then a person can obviously could sit. But l'chatchile, he should, um, and he should also bend down like by moidim. You should say the video bent down with a hachna gidoyla. You're not standing there before the eibishter. Ah, eibishter, happening at that. Hey, you should do it at the bayda yila by shefer. So we get on the different avedis. You don't do it as a do a hachna. Humility, yeah. When you're saying vidui, you should be make with your fist on your pound your fist on your heart, meaning ato garam to the achet. You caused the aveda. Some are noig to hit on the chaza, the breast, because for reasons of pikabala. 
not sure exactly where is what. I mean, I think most people do it on the heart. Now, Lamaisa, we also say video again by the Chazar Sashats. We join again the Sheikh Tzibur and we're misvadeh with it. Minadin, you don't need to say over all the videos again. If you just say, it's enough. However, Lamaisa, meaning is that we do um, Chazar over again with Viduyim. But in a manner that someone was not able to, we just say, with the Sheikh Tzibur, and that's enough. Now, every year, why do we again every year say the same Avedis again? And, and, and also, that's the Mashallah person did something in the previous year, he's supposed to say it again next year. And it says, even though it's very Niskaper, he already had Kapara, it's Meshubah to say it again. Like David Amalek says in Tehillim, the Khatasi Negdi, some of my event is always before me. Meaning, I always look at it, I view it as if I never got the Kapara. It's always there. Really, he got the Kapara. But this humbles him to remember what he did before the Abish thing. Right. It reminds you that you had that um, failure, you have that the urges to do such a thing, and therefore keep in mind to not go back to it. The minig is after Mincha on Erev Yom Kippur. Our minig is actually before Mincha. You get Malkus. Everyone gets Malkus. Flashes. Lamet has Malkus 39. I, I know the minig Chabad is before Mincha. Other people have a different minig. Yeah. 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 I remember doing it before we used to go to the Rebbe. The Malkus. I was waiting online. Remember the Lekach? Now, we don't really have Dayanim today. You're not allowed to give Malkus. There's no Bezdin that can give Malkus today. The Miser starts to give you Malkus. You call the police. There's no Bezdin that gives out Malkus today. Um, we don't have Dayanim Smuchin. Ad Moshe Rabbeinu. Um, and as well, you're not Chayim Malkus unless you're warned with Astra, with to aid him for the Daveda. However, the minig is to do this Malkus, just that you should remember and do Tshuva on Avedis. And also, to prepare you to serve Hashem, the, the Yom Kippur, with a Hachna before the Ebersh. Three times. As he's clapping you on your back, stay with, um, you both say together, Malkin and Luka, Vahurach, three times, which actually was said, Shas Malkus was given by the president, was said, Vahurach, because they had 39 words, um, 30, 13 words in, in Vahurach, three times Vahurach is 39, connected to 39 Malkus. It's not a real Malkus, so we take a little, a little ritzu, a little strap. Um, today's days, people just take a, a belt, a mantle, and, and, and that's it. It's not the... A person should be facing um, north, because most people's chatoim come from money. Money causes a, a person to sin. It causes yeah, machlekes, so it, it causes avedis, it causes geneva. So it says in the Pasuk, Mitzafein in Iu, Mitzafein Zahav Ya'asa. From the north comes the gold. The north oh, is the yeah, Indian, and yeah, Torah yeah. all over Chazal we find that north is the Indian of Ra. The Ra comes from the north. And therefore, you should face that direction to have Achna. <laughs> Final important halacha, Yoim Akipurim Rabbi is only Mechaper for those that do Tshuva. And those that are, believe in the Kapar of Yom Kippur. But someone who's Mavait and he, he kicks, yeah, and he's like, why did Yom Kippur help me? Yom Kippur does not help him back. Yom Kippur can't help someone who don't believe in him. Yeah. <laughs> Could someone, is Maisha able to come? 
Maybe there's someone else in the library. Now, both side, we're going to take a, a, a break now from Maider tomorrow night. We're going to be Mamshik. Rabbi Mrazel will be Mamshik this year. Rabbi. Anyone could come from Maider? Anyone in the area? Anyone join us from Maider? Okay, cult of everyone. Good night. Thank you, Rabbi. How many people you need for Arvid? We need right now two people. Okay. Maybe we have Rabbi uh, Victor will come. Maybe we need we need another person or two. Okay, I coming. Okay, Shakaya. Okay, bye. It's a good idea.